Have you ever had a panic attack? Like a real deal scared out of your mind panic attack? While I make today's hyper-realistic cake, I'm gonna tell you about my experience having one of those. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today, I'm going to show you how I made a lock cake. I love roller coasters. I do, I love them. I watch YouTube videos about them all the time. You see, I grew up riding roller coasters. I was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, which is only an hour drive from a little place called Cedar Point. America's roller coast. That's how the employees say it over the loudspeaker while you're waiting in line for the rides. When it comes to amusement parks, Cedar Point is a really big deal. It won best amusement park in the world 16 years in a row, from 1997 to 2013, which happens to line up with the dates that I was frequently visiting the park as a youth. They're best known for their innovative and super intense roller coasters. Their coasters have broken so many records, the tallest, the fastest, the longest. Here's a very specific one. Steel Vengeance broke the record for most airtime on a roller coaster. Airtime is my favorite. Airtime is when you go over like a steep hill and you're slightly lifted from your seat and it makes you feel weightless. My point is Cedar Point has a lot of the most intense roller coasters in the world and I grew up riding them. For as long as I can remember, my family would visit Cedar Point at least a few times a year. I spent much of my childhood trying my best to grow as quickly as I could so I could finally meet the height requirements to ride the big rides. One year in particular, I was ready to go. My time had come, Yoink. I was finally tall enough to ride all the rides at the park. So my family and I get to the park and we walk up to the start of the line leading up to a coaster that I was finally able to ride called Raptor. An employee was standing there with her measuring stick that checks the height of everyone, making sure they're tall enough to ride. And that is when she told me, you're about an inch too short to ride. I was devastated. I I was so close. I was so convinced they were gonna let me on, but no, no dice. My teenage babysitter came with us on that trip and she suggested that I take my socks off, ball them up, and then shove them into the heels of my shoes to get a little extra height. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Do not do this. Babysitter Sarah was very wrong to suggest it. Plus it doesn't work. The employee who turned me away wasn't just being a meanie. The park is very strict about height requirements because the big rides aren't made for small people. So it's a safety precaution. So no matter how sad I was, they were right to turn me away. But don't worry because the next year I was tall enough and I rode all the roller coasters and I loved every single one of them. I live in Texas now, so the last time I visited Cedar Point with my family was in 2017. It's a really neat experience visiting the park as an adult because so many of the roller coasters that I grew up riding are still there. So there's all the fun of the actual rides with an extra boost of nostalgia mixed in. During my 2017 visit, the fam and I decided to try out a ride that none of us had ever been on called Windseeker. Windseeker is an amped up swing ride. You sit in these like suspended swing-like seats and slowly rotate around a central tower. This type of ride has been around forever. It's very common. It's not very fast and kids like it. But like I said, this is an amped up version. So you actually go 301 feet in the air. Eh, it's pretty high. So we're waiting in line right next to the ride, and I'm watching the first round of guests get seated, and the ride starts to rotate and raise up. And as the ride gets higher and higher, and I get this really intense adrenaline rush, but like not in a good way, like in a nervous way. This thing goes way higher than I realized. Now, as a seasoned roller coaster rider, I've absolutely felt uneasy prior to boarding rides in the past. And I always just force myself onto the ride anyway, and then once it starts, I'm good to go, and that feeling of fear quickly turns into fun. So this time I did the same thing. I ignored my uneasy feelings and I just took my seat on the ride. So I'm sitting there in my swing and I'm nervous. Then the ride starts to raise and we're about 30 feet in the air and I can't talk. I'm just petrified. My arms are squeezed in at my sides. My head is pressed so hard into the back of the headrest and my eyes are squeezed tightly closed. And I can feel us, we're raising higher and higher. And we got to the top and I made a mistake. I peeked just for a second, just to see how high we were. So I'm having a full on panic attack on this ride and there's absolutely nothing I can do but wait it out. That's when my dad notices my situation and he yells over the sound of the rushing wind. What are you doing? You scared? That's when I cry out. Yes, I hate this so 
so much. With my eyes closed again. And then I hear laughing. Everyone is laughing because this is a relatively calm, slow ride. So everyone else in my family, they're just swinging and kicking their legs, taking in the view. And I'm over here on the verge of tears. And they knew in reality I was perfectly safe. So they just couldn't stop themselves from laughing. Eventually they lowered us back down to the ground. And once I was on the ground, I kind of laughed too. And there you have it, a cake of a lock. Thanks for listening to my story today while I made this hyper-realistic cake. I hope you guys like the cake. I like it. Now let's cut it. I'll see you next week for another cake.